Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new. Today's Friday and it's drop day so I'm gonna be pretty much working on packing orders all day and you guys have seemed to really love like the work day in my life videos and just kind of sharing behind the scenes of running an online boutique so I figured I would vlog today. I told you guys that each time I pack orders it's a little differently because I'm just trying to become more and more efficient and this is my old table if you've been around for a while that I used to use as a vanity. We had it out in the garage and I just brought it into my office uh, just to temporarily so that I could have a space to pack orders that's a little bit bigger. So I've got our standard poly mailers here, stickers, tape, tagger, thank you cards, bunch of scrunchies in here because I'm giving them away as little thank you gifts. And then I've already pre-folded tissue paper. The whole house smells so, so good because of this pumpkin apple candle. I swear to you, this is like the best scent. I'm gonna make a pumpkin coffee. And as you can see, I'm fully stocked on the pumpkin spice. I don't play around. Here's true life, what my living room looks like right now. Just like boxes of inventory that I have to find a home for. USPS bins and a Lululemon bag full of your orders. So I'm gonna go take these to the post office so they can go out today. Okay, I dropped off the packages and I'm like rushing to get back home because I have a very exciting package coming today from FedEx, but it requires a signature. And so I can't go get my coffee because I'm like so afraid that I won't be there <laughs> when the package comes and I won't be able to sign for it. And then I'll have to wait until Monday. No Starbucks for me today because I gotta make sure I'm home. It's way later now and Chad and I are making pancakes. These two look a little wonky because I made those ones. <laughs> Chad made these ones. We're doing breakfast for dinner because the chicken that we thought out this morning was literally still frozen. So we had to just like come up with something else. So we decided that we're gonna have breakfast for dinner, which is Chad's idea and I love breakfast for dinner. So I'm very excited. Look how peaceful our living room is. I just finished my weekend cardio and I finally managed to get my average pace below 11. I had some orders come in last night so I'm gonna go ahead and pack these up now so they can go out today. So I just dropped off the packages and those are gonna go out today and I am completely caught up from orders for this drop. I've been having so, so much fun guys. Just like running Sun Bunny full time pretty much. There's literally nothing else I'd rather be doing. I have so much fun with it. But now I'm heading to Target. I need to get a couple more bins to store all of the fall inventory that's coming. I have sweaters, cardigans, Sherpa, like zip up jackets. Oh my gosh, so much fun stuff is coming. But I don't have anywhere to put it. So I need to get more bins and then um, I'm gonna stop at Starbucks obviously and get a coffee. I posted a vlog yesterday and I was reading the comments this morning um, Basically, it was me going to the gym and in all of the clips that I shared I wasn't wearing a mask and I probably should have said this in the video because I see how it looked But um, my gym does require that you wear a mask when you enter the gym and anytime that you're moving from different equipment But I stayed in the same room the whole time so I didn't have to you also get your temperature checked before you're allowed to enter the gym at the gym I go to and all of the gyms as far as I know around where I live you just have to wear it when you're moving around all of the equipment gets cleaned after every use I know that it is a bit risky but I do remain six feet from everyone in the clips it probably looked like I wasn't six feet because I literally had my camera sitting on the ground like pointed up so 
the angle just probably made it look like everyone was super close but it's a big open space and I was definitely more than six feet from anyone else other than Natalia who I was there with so I'm really sorry if that offended any of you guys I don't want you to think that there's like no precautions being taken and you just walk into the gym and you don't wear a mask and you do what you want because that's definitely not the case. I just didn't have to wear a mask the entire time because I was in the same area. My whole workout that day happened to all be in the same space. I went through the drive-through, got my coffee, and now I am parked at Target. I'm about to go in. I am just so excited to go into Target. Let's go. I just realized I never showed you guys the exciting package that I had to be home for yesterday so I could sign for it. So it's my new purse. I got the Gucci Soho Disco Bag in the rose beige color and I didn't really want to talk about it too much yesterday and I'm not going to even touch on it really at all right now because I filmed an unboxing and first impressions video of the bag and it's going to go live on Wednesday. So you guys will get to see my first impressions and just like talking about the bag in a little more detail but so far I'm obsessed with it and this Target run is my first time carrying it. Guys, I'm very proud of myself. I went to Target and I only got the things I needed. Three of these containers and then I picked up a little mini candle which was on the list because I needed one for my office. So I got Harvest Apple. Pack of Sharpie markers because I've been writing thank you cards with my orders for somebody and they dry out really quick when you write one with every order. And then the last thing I got is this little card holder for my new bag because right now I use this Louis Vuitton thing but I took it off of my key ring because I wanted to just start carrying like a normal wallet but I literally only carry just a few cards and I never have cash or anything so I just wanted something really small that wouldn't take up a lot of space and this was only five bucks. So, so I know it's the weekend and I should probably take some time for myself and not work on the store but I can't look at all of this inventory like just it's everywhere so i'm gonna go through all of this and organize it and then uh later today i'm gonna go get my gross nails done with Alyssa. it is way later now and i'm back home with Alyssa. we did so much and i didn't even pick up my camera we went and got our nails done we ran up to target my second target trip today because we had to get some snacks and then we also got olive garden to go because i just really wanted like salad breadsticks and pasta and it sounded good to us, so. About to pop open some wine, but we wanted to show you our fall nails. So cute, we got the matte. And I decided to go with all the colors, and Alyssa's is very similar to this, but just like a little bit yeah, lighter. Yeah, it's hard to see. About to crack open the bubbly. Is it here we going? Go! <laughs> <laughs> Every time, and you knew it was coming. Oh. They're about to feast. Feast in the right way. Oh my gosh. Just, we got the ziti, which I've never had. Alyssa said it's really good. It looks amazing. 